Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use music from your iTunes library to create ringtones for your iPhone. We've made a video like this before using Windows 7, uh, but with the release of Windows 10 a lot of people have been asking for an updated video. So we decided we would make one. It's not really a difficult process, but there are a few steps to it that need to be followed. So let's go ahead and get started first thing that we're going to do is go into the control panel of our computer. Once we have the control panel open, we're going to click View By and then click Large Icons. And then come down here to where it says File Explorer Options. Click on that. Go to View. And here in this list, we are going to look for the uh, option that says hide extensions for known file types. And we want to make sure that there's no check mark in this box. So once we have that, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Close the control panel. And let's go ahead and open iTunes. Here in the upper left hand corner, we're going to click and come down to Preferences. And then here in the general, we're going to click import settings and then import using the AAC encoder and once we've got that selected we're gonna go ahead and click OK and click OK and so now that we've got those things out of the way we can go ahead and begin making our ringtone so the first thing you're going to need to do is find whatever song you want to convert into your ringtone. We're just going to use uh, this song here. And the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and right click on the song. And then come up to where it says Get Info. And then we're going to go to Options. And you can see here that the song is about 2 minutes and 25 seconds long. For our ringtones, we want to make them 30 seconds long. So if you want, you can have the first 30 seconds of the song be your ringtone. And to do that, you would just leave that where it says start at zero and stop at, and then we would put a colon and the number 30. And that would be 30 seconds. Or if you wanted to find the chorus of the song, just listen to the song, find at what time the chorus starts, make that your start time uh, and then have your stop time be 30 seconds after that so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and now that we have that we're gonna go ahead and right click the song again and click create AAC version and you can see that it's made a copy of the song now that is 30 seconds long not the 2 minutes and 26 seconds so now that we've got this uh, shortened version that is going to be our ringtone, we're going to right click and go to Show in Windows Explorer. And this will bring up the song in Windows Explorer. And so we're going to go ahead and click on the song title. And you can see here that it ends in .m4a. To make it a ringtone, we're going to change that so it ends in .m4r. And then go ahead and click. And it will warn us that by changing the file extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Click yes. And then go ahead and you can either memorize where the file location is, or for me it's easier to just click this and drag it to my desktop and then that way I don't lose the song. So now that we've got the song saved as a ringtone on our desktop we're going to go ahead and come back here to the main screen click file and click add file to library and then we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to find our .m4r file and click open and you'll see that it didn't add any new songs to our library in the music section however if we click here and go down to tones 
we have our uh, song saved as a ringtone in the tones section. We can go ahead and play that to make sure that it works. And it does. So we're going to go ahead and we can pause the song, go back to our library. And now we can go ahead and plug in our iPhone. And this will get us started syncing this tone to our iPhone. So now that we've got the phone uh, connected, we're going to go ahead and click on the phone option, come down here to tones, and then we can click sync tones. And you can select to sync all the tones from your iTunes library to your phone, or just selected tones. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do selected tones and click this one and click apply and that is how we get the ringtone off the computer and onto the iPhone itself so now that we've got that taken care of let's go ahead and go back to music and back to where our song was and we can go ahead and delete the 30 second version of the song and we are going to go ahead and go back to the original song right click select get info options and then we will uncheck the start and stop times and this will allow the song to go back and play the full song so if you're listening to music on your iPhone or your iPod you'll get the full song back and it leaves it the original song unaffected we're going to go ahead and click OK and that should be everything that we need to do on the computer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the phone and show you how we will apply the ringtone to the phone itself. Alright, so now that we have the ringtone on our phone, we're going to go ahead and set it so that this ringtone plays whenever we get a call. It's really simple. Um, we just go into our settings, scroll down to where it says sounds, and then scroll down to where it says your ringtone and you can see right now we've got just the original default one but we can go ahead and find in our ringtones list the song that we just made go ahead and select it and it plays if you want to set that ringtone for a text, a voicemail, a calendar alert you just go in and whatever you want it to play for, you select it from the list and you're good to go. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day.